Hello everyone, this is Jagjit Singh from HSV Construction. Uh, if you're still behind, haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel. Um, we talk about uh, on this on this channel specifically like you know renovation and the DIY stuff. If you have to do reno work at home and by your own, you can uh, you can you know uh, use my videos as a reference and you know it can help you out like you know save you tons of money. And uh, if you like my videos, please like, comment, of course, share. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about the the sink, uh, kitchen sink. Basically, when you have a new kitchen, of course you get a new uh, new countertop, right? Uh, doesn't matter is uh, laminate or stone or quartz or marble. So you have you have to have to install like a, a sink, right? So today we're gonna talk about a, a laminate countertop sink because it's installed over the top countertop and uh, and with the, with the stone and quartz and stuff like you know with the, then you have to glue it and glue the sink beneath the uh, uh, countertop so let's go hopefully you will uh, enjoy the video and if you like the video please like comment and share and uh, once more, one, one, one more time please subscribe my channel if you're still behind all right enjoy the video thank you bye Get your sink upside down as I did and place it over the countertop and make sure it is in the center. If you want to double check, grab your measuring tape and measure from the both ends. If you get the exact number, then it means you are center. So once you are done with that, grab your marker and get the parameter of the sink. Once you're done with the marking, take the sink away and here you go, this is a trace of the sink you got on the countertop. Now as you know, the uh, countertop has to, has, to, has to go down, overlap the countertop and I'm getting another mark here like a couple of inches away from the original one because the, counter, uh, the sink has to sit on the countertop. So this is the lip I'm getting it and the sink lip will sit on it. So once you once you get the second mark, grab the drill, make a hole. That will hold. That hole will help uh, jigsaw blade to to uh, to trace the trace the second mark I got. So just keep tracing the mark and keep cutting cutting the countertop. And once you once you're reaching at the end of the end end of the cutting, just be careful careful care, care the cut piece it might fall on your leg or a feet. So you need a, so you need a, some support kind of underneath underneath the countertop so that way you will hold hold the hold the cut piece like here I'm using my arm to hold that cut piece so once you once you have uh, once you once you complete your cut and take the piece away the cut piece away and you will have uh, have a perfect cut and grab the sink and place it over and check if it fits. Yeah, it's perfect. Once you have the cut here, um, uh, I have a silicone. It's a uh, it's hundred percent waterproof proof kitchen and bath silicone, and I'm put I'm I'm laying it down on countertop as well as on the sink. That way, I will have a, have a better bond between countertop and sink and for sure waterproof 100% waterproof wand
once you're done with the silicone just release the pressure and grab the sink and put it back on over the countertop and once you put it back on make sure it's centered and uh, wherever you lined like aligned wherever you want to put it on and press it down that way you will have a have a contact between both sink as well as the countertop and once you have that uh, there we go you, you you're getting a perfect bond and leave it like that for a couple of hours and you will have a solid 100% waterproof bond here you go and here's 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 another way of doing it it's called sink hold down clamps and this is this this is a, this is a, another perfect method to doing that holding the sink down and here in this uh, in this in this video i have a silicone all around the sink as well as the countertop here i'm putting these clamps down once you have all the clamps down I put the sink back on and uh, and make it center and tie tie tight all the clamps from underneath and there way you will have a solid contact between between uh, between sink and counter. Tighten all the all the clamps all around the sink. Thanks for watching my video, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Thumbs up.